Welcome back to Sports Edge. Joining us tonight, the tournament director of the Connecticut Open, sponsored by United Technologies, and Worcester here. Boy, been doing this for a while, huh? 19 <laughs> years. <laughs> Are you ready? 19 years, yeah. I hope I'm ready, <laughs> yep. But T minus uh, seven and counting. We start a week from today, Friday, the 19th. Uh, it's hard to believe it's number 19. Yeah, the Olympics are going on right now. Do you guys have a good amount of Olympians uh, playing in this? Yes, um, all but two of the players that com that have already entered the Connecticut Open are representing their countries in the Olympics, and um, they've done very, very well. Six of the eight quarterfinalists today are committed to the Connecticut Open, and we have two Connecticut Open players advancing in Madison Keys and Petra Kvitova. So getting these players back each and every year, and is it a tough thing to do, or has it become kind of just the ball is in motion and they call you now? Oh, <laughs> in my dreams. <laughs> the advent of social media, recruiting is now a year-round job. It used to be like I'd go to the Miami Open in March and start to talk to players, and then to Wimbledon, and now the minute they walk on site, I tell my player services, we are already um, recruiting them for next year so the better we treat them the more warmly we welcome them we're already recruiting them for next year and then I go to the US Open I track matches I follow up with players and then all year long keep in touch with them on social media on text on email on cell phone thankfully we can say we're the week before the fourth and final Grand Slam mm -hmm. of the year same surface same climate same time zone same ball and a 90-minute drive will take you to your U.S. Open hotel. The players love New Haven. Mm -hmm. They love the walkability. They call it the calm before the storm yeah. of New York. <laughs> yeah. Um, of course, they really love our restaurants. Who doesn't, and really, pizza. right? <laughs> <laughs> does it ever get overwhelming, being that it's a year-round thing, being that there's social media involved? Does it ever get tiring? Our team also manages Market New Haven, so there is no downtime um, when we're not managing the tournament. We're managing restaurant weeks and concerts on the green. Um, so yeah, I um, feel like my hair's on fire when I drive <laughs> up and down I-95 quite often. Thank you for asking, Henry. <laughs> now, a lot of people come out just for the tennis, um, but as sports go along, no matter what sport it is, people like to be entertained inside the entertainment. Yeah, in this day and age where folks can be entertained on their tablet, on their smart smartphone, never leaving their sofa, live sports and entertainment events have to work very very hard to make sure that the in-stadium experience the on-site experience far exceeds um, staying home mm -hmm. so um, at the connecticut open we offer live music every night local food trucks uh, Shoprite kids day kicks off the week on the sunday with goodie bags and free clinics and mascots and rock climbing walls monday night is a brand new opening ceremony presented by yale we're celebrating the international nature of tennis in this olympic year um, we're going to have yale acapella groups um, the president of the yale glee club will be um, singing the national anthem you're going to hit the high note with them or? i can't even hit any <laughs> low note so that would not be my strength but we're, to, we're going to welcome all of the main draw players onto stadium court country by country oh, nice. with their flags. Uh, Tuesday, brand new girls night out and girls day out. Uh, it's the court girl lifestyle experience. And um, in one of our fanciest hospitality tents, there's gonna be makeovers and trunk shows and raffles and signature cocktails and all kinds of wow. court girl stuff. No boys allowed? You can probably come in. Okay. Come in with your camera. <laughs> okay, excellent. <laughs> of course, of course. That'll be your way in. All right. Um, and then, of course, uh, everyone loves the men's legends. Thursday night, John Mac John, John McEnroe, McEnroe will play on, take on James Blake, yeah. our hometown honey. Yeah. And uh, Friday night, Andy Roddick yep. will take on Mark Philippoussis. And then new this year, the winners of those semifinal matches will play a new final on Friday night. Oh, that's great. So Friday night, your ticket is women's semifinal, men's semi, men's final. So we're calling it Fantastic Friday. And, and on Saturday, military. On Saturday, the, the culmination of the event is United Technologies Military Appreciation Day. So all vets, veterans, and military members of the military receive two complimentary seats. We'll look forward to it. Another great year of tennis Looking in New Haven. Looking forward to having you out there.